Hi YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I finally received my Lenovo X13 laptop with an AMD Ryzen Pro 4750 processor and thought some of you guys and gals may be interested to see how it performs. Currently I have a Dell Latitude 7392 in one and I'm getting tired of it throttling all the time. And I find it ridiculous that the laptop freezes while sometimes even doing remedial tasks. I'm really hoping the X13 will be a replacement for the 7390 which has a Core i7 8650U and 16 gigs of RAM. But only time will tell. Now let's get on to the unboxing. As with most laptops these days, there isn't much that comes with the laptop other than the charger, and that's definitely the same here. The 613 is spec'd with an AMD Ryzen Pro 4750, 32 gigs of DDR memory that's soldered on the board, 128 gig SSD which I will upgrade myself in the future, a WAN antenna, and a 13 inch Full HD 300 nit display. I also opted to get the backlit keyboard. For anyone that wants a quick rundown on my thoughts about the laptop, here they are. It's so much faster than my Dell laptop with its Core i7-8650U processor. Encoding video on this laptop at 1080p with H.264 compression encodes in less than 50% time, compared to a Core i7-8650U which takes approximately 40% longer than real time to encode video. The build quality seems to be good, but the lid on the laptop has already scratched from it laying lid down on my desk which had a little bit of fine dirt and dust on the desk. The laptop and touchpad are great, but I wish the touchpad had physical buttons. Fan noise during normal operation isn't bad, but is noticeable. On the right side of the laptop, there's an always-on USB 3 port, provisions for a lock, heatsink exhaust, and optionally a smart card reader if you ordered your laptop with one. On the back, there's a SIM card slot if you ordered the laptop with a WAN antenna or card. And on the left, you have two USB-C ports, one which is usually used for charging, and another port that sits next to the connector for an optional Ethernet adapter. The second USB-C port and Ethernet adapter port can be used with an optional dock if you choose to purchase that through Lenovo. Neither of these USB-C ports have support for Thunderbolt since this is an Intel thing, so keep that in mind if you're looking to purchase an AMD laptop. The remaining ports on the left of the laptop are another USB 3.0 port, an HDMI 2.0 port, and a headphone jack. Like most portable laptops, there isn't much that can be replaced or upgraded in the laptop, but let's take a look and see what can be changed. After removing the cover, you'll see that interestingly, Lenovo decided to use a 2240 M.2 NVMe SSD and is secured with a bracket that extends the SSD to the dimensions of a 2280 M.2 SSD. There's a PCIe slot for a WAN card, and ironically the laptop has an Intel AX200 Wi-Fi 6 card. The laptop has a 48 watt hour battery, which I wish there was an option for a 60 watt hour battery, but hopefully AMD's 7 nanometer process will yield good battery life on this laptop. I ran user benchmark as well as Cinebench, and results seem to be pretty good. Keep in mind I ran these benchmark utilities without changing any settings from factory. Cinebench averaged a benchmark score of 2886 over 3 runs, and user benchmark shows that the laptop is performing as expected. One thing to notice is that it looks like Lenovo has two 16GB DDR4 modules soldered on board, which allows dual channel memory performance. The screen is very bright and color accuracy looks pretty good to me. Luckily it has a LG LP133WF7-SPB1 IPS panel, which is a 300 nit screen and has 72% NTSC or 99% sRGB color coverage.
I also re-encoded a 1080p video with H.264 compression and results blew the Core i7 in my Dell out of the water. Despite the processor throttling down to around 2.4 GHz during the encoding process, the best part of this was that the laptop was surprisingly consistent in encoding times, with the maximum variation of 5 seconds between the three runs. On the other hand, encoding on the Dell 7390 I have, or even the Dell Latitude 7300 or 5300 I just received in the mail was wildly inconsistent and took longer than real time to encode video. I haven't had time to test the battery life, but I will do a video with more details on the laptop soon. Stay tuned. I purchased the normal 720p webcam without infrared, and the video quality to me seems pretty average. Having the Think Shutter which allows you to cover your webcam when it's not in use is a nice touch, and I hope other laptop manufacturers start doing this with their laptops as well. The keyboard is overall nice to use, but not as nice to use as the older ThinkPad keyboards. Compared to the Dell 7390 keyboard, I think that the Dell may be slightly better since it has a more solid feel to it, at least for me. The touchpad is a decent size, but my biggest gripe is that there is no physical touchpad buttons. And what's most frustrating for me is when you're trying to right click at the bottom right of the touchpad and it misinterpreting the right click as scrolling. The other issue I had was when I was scrolling a web page with two fingers on the touchpad and actually bumping the touchpad with a third finger and thinking that you're trying to show the desktop instead of scrolling. I know the three finger functionality can be disabled and maybe you guys think this is user error but when I use a laptop with physical touchpad buttons I never have this issue. Thanks for watching the video. If you're looking to purchase an X13 or purchase an AMD laptop, I hope it will help you decide whether if it's a good fit for you or not. Is there anything else you want me to test or do you have any questions about the laptop or how it compares to a Dell 13 inch laptop with a Core i7 CPU? Comment below. See you guys in the next video.